Say cheese. What we have today is a really cool camera. I was excited to get in the shop. It's the Panon Wide Lux F7. These were made in Japan from about 1958 to 2000. It's a 24 by 59 format with a lens that swings across the film plane. And this system has some real nice advantages. Uh, because you're only using the center of the lens, you get sharpness from corner to corner. The, the quality of the image is exactly the same from the edge all the way to the other edge. There's also no light fall off, and light fall off is a big problem with wide format cameras that, that don't pivot. There are a couple of disadvantages to the swing lens. Uh, one is simply that the exposure is very long. This is a 15th of a second, and you can see how long it takes. It's because it's a 15th here, 15th there, 15th there, and by the time you go across, it adds up to a lot of 15ths. It also has very limited exposure controls. This has five f-stops, but only three shutter speeds. It has 15th, 125, and 250 of the second. In practice, I find that the, the limited shutter speeds are kind of a, they make it a little difficult because you don't always get the aperture that you want to get the correct exposure. Something else I should mention is that uh, character slash design defect of this camera is that you have to wind it before you change the shutter speeds. Uh, changing the shutter speeds before you wind doesn't necessarily break the camera, but is apparently not good for them. So wind, then change your shutter speeds. It's, it just is a really striking looking camera. Um, I would definitely say if you're interested in one of these, to go ahead and buy them because the prices are still relatively low. You compare 1,000, 2,000 on this versus 5,000 that an X-Pan is commanding nowadays, and this will take a picture that's every bit as good. Looking at the camera, we have bubble level on top, which, which is really handy because if you tilt the camera, it will distort. Something that I always wondered about these is whether they distorted or they gave you a true image. If the subject matter is far away, though, basically no distortion at all. But if the subject matter is close, or like this wall, close and far, you get pretty bad distortion. Also, if you tilt the camera, you get distortion. You can use this to creative effect, or you can use the bubble level and shoot things far away and get a camera that doesn't scream swing lens. The markings on the front, which really give the camera a distinct look, I assume are exclusion lines for your fingers, so don't put your fingers there or your fingers will be in the picture. Hold it back here or like Jeff Bridges does up here. Jeff Bridges is the person most associated with this camera. I don't know why other celebrities haven't picked it up because it's really a beautiful camera. Uh, this camera uses standard 35 millimeter film. You get 20 to 21, depending on the exact length of your film and how you load it, exposures. The exposures reach 24 by 59 millimeters. When you load it, don't make the mistake that I did. Uh, you have to load it by putting the film under each of these rollers and, and then through here. I put my film the first time I shot this over the top, which led to a pretty funky effect, but it wasn't, was not what I was looking for. This camera was clearly made to be used on a tripod, but I handhold it no problem. You just have to keep your shutter speeds up or you'll see some, some camera movement and distortion in your pictures. This camera also is available in a 120 version, but those are much less common. Head over to victorycamera.com to check out the Widelux F7, a lot of other fine cameras we have. Thanks for watching, have a great day.